Henry P. Bernsmeyer was born on February 18, 1868, in Quincy, Illinois, to Henry C. and Henrietta F. Dickman Bernsmeyer. Of German descent, H.P. attended the local German school until the age of 13, when he transferred to the Quincy Public Schools. Here he studied for a year before taking a position as a clerk with a local grocer. As a young man, H.P. developed a fascination with penmanship that he would go on to cultivate seriously. He would enroll in night courses and often practice during spare moments at work in the grocery store. It was his passion for the pen that led young H.P. to send a letter to one D. L. Musaman, founder of Quincy's Gem City Business College, inquiring about a particular variety of ink. As it happened, D. L. Musaman was one of the finest and most celebrated penmen of the day, who upon receiving H.P.'s letter and seeing examples of his work, convinced H.P.'s parents to enroll him in penmanship lessons at the business college. This was the golden age of American penmanship, a period which was spanned from the mid-19th to the mid-20th centuries. It was a time when skill with a pen could bring the young professional both fame and fortune. Despite the invention of the typewriter some decades earlier, much business correspondence was still written by hand with a particular need for men capable of embellished writing, known as engrossing, for important documents and certificates. Entire periodicals were dedicated to the skill, and gifted penmen were referred to as masters, who achieved something akin to a celebrity status, with adoring fans writing for some small sample of their work from which to copy. H.P. excelled in his studies, and only a few months after enrolling was called by Musulman to begin work in the college office as a correspondent. Soon after, H.P. began teaching courses in penmanship and was quickly promoted to the position of director of the penmanship department, a post that he would maintain for almost 50 years. H.P. was a dedicated instructor, and his classes were particularly memorable. He believed that the key to success in penmanship was to be found through the use of appropriate rhythm. To help his students, he would often have them write to music, favoring Stephen Foster's Camp Town Races, believing it to be the ideal music for rhythmic writing. Camp Town ladies sing this song, do-da, do-da. Camp Town racetrack five miles long, oh, do-da day. Come down here with my hat caved in, do-da, do-da. Can't go back with a pocket full of tin, do-da day. H.P. was particularly famous for his work as an engrosser, completing work for many clients, including diplomas for a commercial school in Osaka, Japan, until the outbreak of the Second World War. In fact, H.P.'s skill with the pen was so exemplary that he was named Champion Penman of the World at the Omaha Exposition of 1898, and was constantly featured in business periodicals such as The Business Educator. H.P. was also well known for his skill as a flourisher, a form of embellishment, and many of his greatest works are found in his collection of flourished birds and animals. After a distinguished career, H.P. passed away in 1948 at the age of 80 in his hometown of Quincy, Illinois. H.P.'s life and work stand as a testament to a simpler time in American history, a period of idealism and belief in the American dream. 
The Rare Book Library of the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign is pleased to present their collection of H.P. Burns Meyer's work to display H.P.'s exemplary talent and to hopefully inspire a new generation with the beauty of this rapidly disappearing art form. Bye.